Welcome back to another episode of I Got Big Balls. Pause. 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 Come on, you need some more pause than that. <laughs> like, pause. pause. Okay, all right. No. <laughs> I got big balls. Once again, it's on your boy E1 Don signing on. Salute. That's on all social media at E the number one D O N. And show buddy by crunchtimemedia.net for all your photo, video, and merchandise needs. Make sure you guys are shopping. Go to the link in the bio. And of course, we live. We have live hip hop daily. A lot of great programming. Go to the app, go to the website. Check us out at Big Bowls Pause. We got more cereal, we got more guests, and we got more bowls. Pause. Co-host Danny Digital. What's going on? It's your boy Danny Digital. I want you to follow me on all social platforms at Danny Digital. That's D-A-N-N-Y-D-I-G-I-T-A-L-L. Check out some of the content I got provided for y'all on there, man. All right, we got a real special guest in the We got Antoinette of Mom vs. the World in here. Yeah, make sure you follow me on all platforms at Mom vs. the World EXP. All right, all right. So we're going to get to what she got going on. And as always, we're going to get to some cereal. I'm nervous about the cereal. Nervous? nervous about the cereal. You shouldn't be nervous about the cereal. You ever see you online, you jumping out of planes. Jumping out of a plane and eating nasty cereal is not the same thing. Oh my <laughs> goodness. She said she'd rather hey, jump man. out of a plane. Because I, I don't have some things. I'd rather jump out of a plane before I eat <laughs> Now that we speak about it. So tell us a little bit how you got into what you do. Is, are you considered a travel agent, a booking? I know you book you know, activities. What do you call yourself? I haven't figured out the word. For it, yeah. Oh, man, you gotta get so, the name for I know, it. right? So I'm a travel agent. I do book okay. trips for other people. I really plan them. Like people really, when they come to me, it's not I want to go to Jamaica. It's like I want you to plan a trip that you would take to Jamaica. I don't want to just go there and not have anything to do. So mm -hmm. I give them itinerary. So they, you know, just have options. They, okay. Whether they do it or not is on them. But I mainly I book trips or well, book adventures. I call them adventures. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. I book adventures. Um, locally right now, we've done um, skydiving, whitewater rafting, I've been hang gliding, zip lining. Um, I think that's about it locally. When we went to Jamaica, we went skinny dipping, we did okay. um, snorkeling, okay. Dun River Falls. <laughs> so if it's I'm there, I'm with you, I'm with all of it. So did this start with you just taking this trip to get trips yourself and then people was like, yo, like, put me on? It was like, so I've always make wanted money to go skydiving, this. right? Yeah. And nobody really wanted to go with me. Nobody was like, you crazy, I'm not going. I think so. So <laughs> I had one friend who wanted to go, but she ended up getting pregnant. So I ended up going by myself. And it was cool, but you don't have anybody to share the experience with once you get down. Like nobody, everybody looking at you like you're crazy when you try to explain to them how peaceful skydiving is. Okay. So then that's when the business came about. Like I can't be the only person that wants to go skydiving so. and don't have anybody to go with. So I throw <laughs> it out there and then people start coming. That's crazy. So what's the most like, crazy? I, I heard skinny dipping. We all heard that. <laughs> what, what's like some of the craziest thing you probably don't book for somebody? You was like, oh, that's a little, okay. Um, probably, I guess, Skydiving yeah. is the scariest thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> to me, the Grand Canyon is, I went to the Grand Canyon and I would not take anybody to the Grand Canyon. Why? Because people, I'm with the foolishness and I don't want anybody to follow me. So I'm gonna jump over a rock. What are you doing? To get, cause I want a certain picture. So if there's a space in between Ooh, this yeah. and there, I'm gonna climb and I'm gonna jump it out and I don't want you to follow me out there and then you hurt yourself. Yeah. So, I'm with you. make all the park rangers jobs hard. Yeah, they, see, they, when we went, the government was shut down. So there weren't any park oh rangers. Oh my goodness. So you, you do what you wanted. You could do whatever you wanted to do. That's and so we terrible. did. Yeah, it was not. Nah, it wasn't <laughs> the government. <laughs> That's so terrible when the government shuts down. So what's, what your, yeah. so what's your thoughts on the girl in the lions then? I mean, come on. I wouldn't do that. I just seen that on social media. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Yeah, I would go to the, um, they have one in Myrtle Beach. 
I seen that. I I'm would so, do that. I'm, I'm doing that. Can do you that. book me that? Yeah, I'm going to do that, that. next summer. I want to do that. Me so too. I'm, I'm doing I'm an going excursion there, but to just to jump inside of an uncontrolled environment with the lion, I'm not crazy. I'm thinking do, I'm doing that for my birthday. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Yep. Yeah, that, yeah. I, I do want to do that. Where do you get your adventurous spirit from? Don't care. <laughs> you jumped off rocks as a kid? Yeah, I'm pretty sure trees. I did. Yeah, I got a lot of... I didn't, have never broken a bone before, and I was mad about that. You was like, mad about day, not breaking like a bone. I feel like I was supposed you to break robbed. a bone. Yeah, I was, I was robbed, robbed of the child. Nah, I'm too old now. Like, yeah, now they ain't gonna heal, come back, you gonna be... <laughs> like, I want one of my kids to break forever. a bone. My daughter didn't break one. I got a strong you got to wait on my son. Like, get out there, boy. Right. I need to break a leg for me. Literally. Damn, oh, bro. We might have to edit that part out. You know what I mean? It does sound bro. bad when you think about it. But you know how kids climb trees and then, you know, they fall? Nah, like, I didn't break no bones. I'm happy trees, about that. But we I never broke anything. I fell out of plenty of things I that I should have hurt, <laughs> but you know. Yeah, I got scraped up and stuff. I never right? broke a bone. I'm happy. I'm, I'm very all right. Happy. I'm good with very life. Happy. I'm too old now to break a bone. I'm not trying yeah. to break one now. Yeah, but when I was younger, I, know, like, I think back like on that. It's kind of like, <laughs> over the grand kinda, kinda kinda like you pressing your son to break a bone. I don't know. I mean, if he falls out of a tree, you know, climbing a tree, doing out, you know, kids stuff outside. Right, right. right. You know, so you just don't happen. Yeah. I'm gonna just turn my head while you climb the tree. <laughs> Go ahead. But you know, my son went hang gliding with me. Oh, yeah. And my daughter went skydiving with me. How old are these kids? My son was nine at the time. Okay. And my daughter nine just turned okay eight. Was sky, was sky gliding? Yeah, that's kind of like, that'd be on the back of the boat and you kind of like in the sky mm -hmm. on the parachute. That's no, that's the same in the thing. air. Sky gliding is when you are attached to this little. Oh, wings. Yeah, you just like jump off the side. And then a plane takes you in the air, and then right. it releases you, and then you glide down. Yourself? You don't have no one to help you? you? Yeah, you're attached to somebody. Oh, great. Yeah, that's hang gliding. <laughs> 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 I was seeing somebody do some skydiving. It was like a music video once, and they flew into a tree. They oh. were crazy. <clears throat> they didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, they didn't first, mean to, I don't think. <laughs> when I was down there, there's not even tree. trees for you to climb and like fall into. Like he was just, he didn't know what he was doing. Right. Yeah. Hit the tree, then hit the ground, I guess. I don't know. Not yeah, that's way better. So as the name says, and you just talked about your children, you know what I mean, mom versus the world. Talk to us about how important cereal is to the household. Well, I'm not a cooker. Right. Yeah, at all. You know them so kids eat. If you eat. follow me on anything, you know that I do not cook. So cereal is our breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and during the week, probably. Every right. once in a while, Don't you may get a meal up. from me, but for the most part, you Right, right. <laughs> get you some cereal. What's some of your all-time favorites coming up, or even to this day? Rice Krispie Treat is my favorite cereal. Yeah. But they don't even sell it anymore. I can't find it. What? The treats? Yeah. yeah where? Of course. Definitely. Um, Come shop over here at both Falls. We got you know them. I mean? Rice Krispie Treat cereal. I, I just find, had those. I cannot find Rice Krispie Treat. Have you seen them? And the only right. one that I found was the one with marshmallows in it, and those are disgusting. Yeah. yeah. But Rice Krispie Treat. I think they treat, come out with marshmallows now. Yeah, they're not. It's not the same. Oh, yeah, like they, the whole recipe changed. So. Someone had a great idea to put marshmallows in a they, lot of shit. Yeah, they should stop. They ruined it. Yeah, they really should. <laughs> ruined it for a lot of things. All right, you know. We want to see if we got something a little adventurous today. We got a little drum roll. Is that adventurous? You brought adventurous to the show. Oh, this is Captain, so it's got to be good. Captain Crunch. Cotton candy? Cotton oh, yeah, candy these are going to be good. These are going to be good. I ain't no, worried not. about it. Yeah, what? You said what? You're not hype? No. You ain't been to the carnival before? Cotton this candy crunch. Cotton carry. Like First of all, it's Captain Crunch. Stuff. Alone. What? The alone. original was Captain has not dropped the ball yet. Yes. Nah. Oops all berries is nasty. What you said all berries. Oops all berries. Oops all what? berries. What? Yes. yes, that is not. Nice. That's legendary shit. No, what? it's not. Just you give crazy? me the basic. You must be mad. Yeah. You must be mad. Nah, just give me the basic Captain. I'm not getting none of the good stuff. <laughs> They got these rice crispies. I just went ahead and opened these. Oh man. Some balls, baby. I want big blue. Old, big old Somebody blue. want pink. Someone else want blue. Alright. What 
kind of milky messing with uh, we got almond and cheese. Okay. My bowl don't have to be that full, right? No. Ah, uh, oh, yes, right? you do. You <laughs> have to eat it. Oh. Oh, this. word, she got a dab. A dab. A dab of crunch. She must have ate today. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Mm. This tastes just like cotton candy. No, 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 delicious. If you hate cotton candy, you're going to hate these. I don't hate cotton candy. Then you're going to love these. You don't need none of those little yellow pieces. You definitely, that's what makes Captain Crunch. That's just the kibble that keeps it full, like. Right? A little kibble, you don't need that. <clears throat> I'm so nervous. This is pure sugar right here. Man, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be hyped for the rest of the day. Actually, our first taste was a little bit better without the milk. Cotton candy and milk don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about the cotton candy and milk. I'm gonna taste this one more time. Mm -hmm. Stop hating on them, man. Give them a chance. I'm, give them one more chance. <laughs> one more. All right. <clears throat> yeah, a little get to know you section while we eat cereal. <laughs> What's your favorite meal of the day? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Dinner. Is it the type of food or the time of day? Type of food. Mm, so you wake up, eat your steaks, and... No, you wake up, eat your cereal. Right. right. She already told you. <laughs> we go wake up for But I eat cereal for dinner, too, but... Mm. Favorite time of the day to eat cereal? Dinner. All I do is eat cereal. Perfect question from Mom versus the world. If you could have a bowl of cereal anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, Dubai. Mm -hmm. One of the underwater hotels. Mm -hmm. That's hard. I'm, I'm assuming you're gonna take the Rice Krispie Treats with you. <laughs> if I can find a box of Rice Krispie Treats, I would buy like 20 of them. Anybody that has some golden Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> if you eat cereal with anybody, dead or alive, cereal in conversation, who you having a bowl with? Uh, Will Smith. Mm. Who? Will Smith. Will? Get jiggy with it. No, 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 no. What kind of cereal you think Will gonna have y'all eat? He eat What if you didn't like those? He gonna eat them. <laughs> what you mean? All right. <clears throat> Peanut butter and jelly. Making a peanut butter and jelly, do you prefer a spoon or a butter knife? What kind of person are you? A mother. <laughs> <laughs> but my the peanut butter and jelly are right. like peanut butter and jelly on each side and I eat it flat. So I eat like, but don't I don't put it together. together. All right, what? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, you definitely don't count. <laughs> but that ain't even Mine a sandwich. Is, That's a, it's like, like a bagel. No. <laughs> She won't put them together. Oh no, God. I don't put my That's peanut butter and jelly sandwich wow. together. Why peanut you, butter and jelly don't want it to touch. on both sides. And then but I it's eat peanut butter and jelly on, on both sides. Yeah, it's peanut butter and jelly on one slice of bread. Oh, and she then just I, want one slice? And then I eat two No, slices, I do two slices. Peanut butter slices. and jelly on one, peanut butter and jelly on the other, eating that bitch yeah, like Yeah, like that. You just fold them like no, I dogs? I don't fold it. Do you toast the bread? No, I don't like toasting bread. What? What are you doing? Yeah, that's how I like my peanut butter. You feed your sandwich. children they like that too? They make their own peanut butter. I don't mind me. You're just <laughs> teaching them the wrong way. I have no idea. All right, what's your favorite curse word or curse phrase? Or do you? I'm not a curser, so. When someone cuts you off in traffic, real quick, like, what you want to say? I don't. I don't have like, a phrase. Oh. But I say, what God the ham God bless sandwich. you, sir. What the ham? That's my curse word. I say it all the time. Say it again now. What's the ham sandwich? What's the ham sandwich? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right on. Don't get her. Where, where, you, where you from again? Savannah. Don't get her talking about them ham sandwiches. You in trouble. That's the one where you can say everywhere and everybody knows that you, you know, I'm at work on the What's call. What's the ham sandwich? And I'm like, what's the ham sandwich? And they was like, yeah, she's mad. 
Oh, shit. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Oh, I went and made you a ham sandwich. Oh, I didn't know you was upset. Word. Yeah, that means mom's mad. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and cried you don't want to get her a ham sandwich. Cried the muffin. Cried the muffin? Yeah, what? Those are my two cursors. It's not that I don't A lot of ever. food. Don't say, I'm not going to say that, but I just prefer not to. So. Cry the muffin. Cry the muffin and what the ham sound. I just need to know the examples on which one you're going to use. Which? How do you decide? It just come out. Oh. Whichever one comes out. Yeah. yeah. I get it from my mama, so blame her. Cry the muffin. What's your favorite corner store snack? It used to be donut sticks. Donut sticks. But they don't taste the same. And zebra cakes. Ah. Uh, yes. Zebra cakes are fire. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get them from the corner store, they're big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's real It was a trading piece back in elementary. I was saying, like, they were my first I would pick. definitely trade them. I don't like the ones that got the chocolate inside, though. It was I probably good. Those. I never had that either. I'm that was probably good. Zebra inside. cake with chocolate inside. Oh, they all have no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, in this uh, day and age of social media, I'd like to ask people, what's your thoughts on social media and relationships? Like, do you think it helps or hurts relationships? It's personal relationships or business relationships? You don't know. Um, personal relationships, I think it hurts. Mm. Um, business, I think, great. Yeah, personal, I wouldn't want somebody to follow me. Mm. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Hey, oh, stay right. off my page. Then, you know, it'd be causing some tension. Like, yo, I hit you up, you showing hands if I see you liking shit. I literally just had a conversation similar to that. Like, <laughs> I was on the bed and I got a screenshot circled when I liked something. Right. You ain't sleep, nigga. <laughs> Liking niggas with no shirts on and shit. This nigga beard full of them lines. <laughs> so yeah, don't follow me. Like, don't follow me. Nah, I'm like, right, you gotta block your loved ones on yeah. social yeah. media. My, I don't even get my dangerous. mom. My mom is the only person that I won't let follow me on Instagram. Oh. My mom and my dad. I don't mm. care about anybody else other than somebody I'm dating. But them three people don't know. Oh, that is right. too funny. All right, let me see that box, man. I gotta see that. She, you know she, 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 she copped out real early. Yeah, real early. I ain't oh, mad at her. We got a zero to five ball rating system. Half a ball, anything in between. What do you rate? Cotton Candy Crunch. I'm gonna give it a two bucks. How you gonna give it a two? It's not nasty, it's just not for me. Oh, okay. Like I wouldn't tell, I mean, you, you should try it if you want to, but this is just not for me. Is it the flavor or the texture? It's the flavor, it's just a little too sweet or something. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a real big Cotton Candy fan anyway, so. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's on digital. Yeah. Your boy capping. It was good at first. Cap. Got bad at the end. <laughs> it was all cap towards the end. Yeah, man. One and a half. I'm sorry, cap. <laughs> I'm sorry, cap. One and a half. Yeah. I feel capped on right now. All right, it's definitely capping. Um, I, yeah. I don't like the texture of it. It's like, it had that cotton candy. Try to get the cotton candy texture too. That was weird with cereal. <laughs> you try to make it dissolve and shit. Candy, right. That's kind of weird. Cap, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna go a ball just out of respect. Damn. I really wanted to go half a ball, but out of respect for the cap, I'm gonna go one ball. Get it, get it, try it. I don't know if this is seasonal. I don't know what. I've never seen what uh, fruit produces the cotton candy flavor? <laughs> what what some plant is coming from? There's definitely some artificial spray on it. Y'all do the research, man. Google that. Let us know. You know, make sure you guys follow us on all social media at Big Bo's Pause. Yes. You know what I mean? Let us know what you're eating, what you want to see us eating. Um, all right. As long as it's cereal related. I don't think I guess we're coming through eating cereal with us, Mom versus the World. Thanks for having me. I had fun. Make sure you guys are following her, and if you're ready to book your next adventure, if you're in the Atlanta area, you know what I mean? Hit her up. Hit me Checking up. her page out, because you're going to see a lot of dope things. 
You know, I might have to uh, holler at you about, you know what I mean, a little trip trip. I'm definitely going somewhere. Yeah, I mean, have That's you heard it. of what you know about the new Richard Branson boat? You heard about that? Yeah, I heard about it. What's that? He had a new cruise ship. You know who Richard Branson is, right? Mm -hmm. He has a cruise ship. And it goes to his private island. Oh. That he owns. That's that sounds like some. Thinking about something, you know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds unsafe. <laughs> I'm thinking about something. Sounds like Fire Island. <laughs> Naked and scared. <laughs> you said it would be. <laughs> You said it was gonna be some naked chicks, but I didn't know it was gonna be like this. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Alright, man, see you guys out of here. Peace. Peace.